Now, if you listen to Nicola Sturgeon, she wants you to think that the SNP in Scotland is the beacon of hope and future and progress and tolerance. It's such a liberal party and internationalist, even though they're literally called the Scottish National Party. And they do have the backing of the mainstream media establishment in Scotland, which means that they could get away with a lot of stuff because it's a one party state. This, the, the opposition doesn't really exist. Uh, there's no real scrutiny in the media. And they have the dark side, the dodgy side of their party, all the MPs and councillors. We don't really hear much about them. Well, until now, I have a list of some of the dodgy people in the SMP establishment. We, I'm going to show you some of these beautiful, beautiful people. Let's start with Marta Coelho, who once said, uh, back in January 2020, that she would prefer if we get rid of, in Scotland, get rid of anyone who's pro-UK, citizens and residents in Scotland, get rid of them. If they're pro-UK, send them to England. Yeah, that's, that's normal. Yep. And then bring anybody who is pro-EU to Scotland. I'm guessing give them a free ticket or something. And that's not too bad. That's still soft xenophobia. <laughs> we have Ahsan Khan, uh, who is, is from Stirling Council. Now, he is very passionate about the second Scottish referendum, even though in 2014, they campaigned saying this is a once in a lifetime vote, once in a generation, and we're not going to ask for it again. And now anybody who opposes it, including Labour and Tories and any, any, any other party, he basically compared them, he's to, compared them to the 1930s uh, Italy and says that, you know, they're using the F card. And yeah, they, they are the intolerant ones. Sure. OK, Mr. Khan. Uh, so that's that's Sterling Council. Let's go to Glasgow. <laughs> Richard Bell. Yeah, this one is another beauty who's uh, decided to a while ago uh, attack a, a politician in England uh, who in Brighton who left the Labour Party. Uh, because of, uh, of course, under Jeremy Corbyn, if you were Jewish, then you would not feel comfortable in the Labour Party. So he attacked that politician because she was Jewish. Okay, that's that's just how things are, apparently, in Glasgow City Council. And then we have uh, Cameron McManus, who uh, essentially said that England and monarchy and the United Kingdom overall have been are responsible for a lot of misery, deaths and you know pillage and plunder and all that and it's still going on and that's why scotland needs to trust the smp minions these guys because these are the nice ones and england and the monarchy and the whole system we are the bad ones so that's according to cameron then we have dennis dixon now again going back to edinburgh the land of liberalism apparently but not really uh, compared to the tory brexiteers you remember the tory european research group uh, and it started with a small group of uh, uh, Tory politicians, the Brexiteers, uh, compared them to the 1930s Germany, the National Socialists in Germany, saying that uh, that movement also started with 12 men in a Munich beer cellar. Cool. I think he could be best friends with uh, David Lammy and those people who keep comparing us to Germany. That's, that's very lovely. Thank you so much, Dennis Dixon. Let's go to Drew Miller from the Highland Council. Now, uh, Drew quit the Lib Liberal Democrats, so he was a Lib Dem, and he also um, he, yeah, he's got a, he's quite intolerant towards the religion uh, in general, specifically uh, Muslims. So the, the beauty of this is that when it comes to the intolerance of the SNP politicians, they hate everybody equally. Muslims, Jews, um, English, Christians. <laughs> So they equally target everybody. So it's not like you know, they have some sort of one one tiny agenda that we, that are, they're just protecting one niche group. No, 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 no. They just want to hate everybody equally. And we have Diane, uh, who's again from Sterling Council, uh, responding to the, the, the rapper Bems, uh, who's actually was born in Nigeria, uh, moved to Scotland and said that I, I haven't really experienced intolerance and you know even like racism and things like this until i actually moved to scotland it's, it's really bad in scotland and she said well she decided to attack him and she said a lot of things that we can't really say on this channel uh, but you know it's family friendly guys family friendly content uh, but she decided to attack the guy so <laughs> maybe sort out your city that might help diane um but and then yeah we, there's so many so many and you can see uh Jean as well uh, again, we could sit here. I, there's another list I have as well. I might just do a, a collection um, every once a week. I'll just find a new list of uh, the SNP minions 
who have done or said dodgy stuff. It will be quite fun to have this uh, new segment as well. But for the love of God, I am so concerned about the younger generation in Scotland in schools being brainwashed and universities thinking that, well, we were born and our main job is to just hate the English. That's not how you do things in a civilized society, Nicola Sturgeon. So we're going to come back with more news updates for you guys. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.